This hack tip is brought to you by HostGator Web Hosting. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, network gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morris, and today we're creating a multi-bootable USB from scratch. I've done a few bootable USBs before, but I've never tried out a multi-boot installer, so today I decided to try something new. Yumi, aka Your Universal Multi-Boot Installer, is available over at pendrivelinux.com. This tool can be used to create a multi-bootable USB flash drive containing multiple operating systems, antivirus utilities, disk cloning, diagnostic tools, and more. Now there are two ways that Yumi can boot an operating system. It either uses SysLinux or Grub. SysLinux is a suite of lightweight bootloaders for starting computers with the Linux kernel. It comes in multiple flavors. First of all, there's SysLinux for booting off of a FAT file system, like our USB file drive that I have here. Then there's ISO Linux for booting CD-ROM ISOs. Typically, these are used for live CDs. PXE Linux is for booting off of the network, and EXT Linux for booting off of Linux file systems. And last but not least, there's Memdisk, which is used to boot older operating systems like DOS, which would be awesome if I really wanted to play Legend of the Red Dragon, because that game is amazing. <gasps> so cool. Anyway, similarly, there's Grub, which is short for GNU Grand Unified Bootloader. It's sort of the de facto standard for booting multiple operating systems or different versions of the Linux kernel. You'll normally see this if you're dual booting, say, Windows and Linux on two different sides. Now, Yumi doesn't use Grub unless it really has to. If an ISO won't boot with SysLinux, it'll chain load it using Grub. Chain loading is where a running program is replaced with another. It's a pretty cool process, but outside the scope of this hack tip. So let's go ahead and get started building our first multi-boot USB with Yumi. First off, you need to download Yumi from the website in our show notes, and you need to run yumi.0.0.1.5.exe and follow all the on-screen instructions, which are pretty simple. Choose your USB thumb drive for, numbers, for step number one, which for me, after I agree, is going to be my D drive. You can also format the drive and remove any kind of installed items off of the drive during the step as well, which is very handy if you need to re-swipe it and start a brand new multi-boot USB bootloader. Underneath step two, choose the tool that you want to have on your USB. If you don't have the ISO downloaded, you can also check the box that says download the ISO zip or tar. For example, I don't have CrunchBank, so it tells me I can visit the CrunchBank homepage or I can download the ISO automatically. Now, after adding the program that you want to boot, run it again to add more ISOs to the drive. And as usual, please make sure that you have chosen the right drive letter for your USB drive and not your operating system. Really important. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create my multi-boot USB. And I'm going to put Puppy Linux because it's one of my favorite distros. Yay! I'll hit Create, and it'll extract it automatically for me. Okay, now that I have Puppy Linux installed onto my multi-bootloader, I'm going to go back into it, hit Next, add more ISOs and distros now, and I'm going to go through the process again, choosing another thing to boot off of my USB drive. And this time, let's choose, where is it? DBAN. Okay, so it's in green. It says that I already have the ISO and it found it automatically for me. I'll hit Create, and when it's done, I'll hit no because I am done. I don't want to add any more because I kind of have a small USB drive. So that's all there is to it to create your drive. After the break, I'm going to restart my PC and make sure that it works. HostGator can get your blog or website up and running in minutes. With plans starting at just $4.95 per month, you get 24-7 support and access to website building tools with over 4,000 templates. They'll even migrate your current website for free. HostGator servers are also 130% powered by wind energy. For Revision 3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Just go to HostGator.com and enter the code HACK5REVISION3 at checkout. Okay, now let's see if it works. 
You'll have to restart your PC and choose to boot from your USB. You may need to reconfigure the boot list by hitting F12 or some kind of similar button to get into the BIOS. So I'm going to go into my VM so I don't actually have to restart my computer and it should boot off of my USB. Okay, so I see my Yumi multi-boot USB menu, and it asks me if I want to continue to boot from the first HD, which would be my Windows box, which I don't. I also can choose other operating systems and tools, system tools, which I have DBAN under, and I can choose directly bootable ISOs or my Linux distributions, which I have Puppy under here. So I'm going to choose Puppy. Run Puppy from USB, yes. Okay, so I just need to wait until it boots up. Well, apparently it worked. <laughs> that was super easy to make. And I'll just full screen this right here so you can see it. Oh, it's so cool. If I want to exit out and try another tool, all I'll have to do is restart my computer and try another. Now stay tuned in for the next hack tip, but until then, I want to hear your feedback. What programs or commands have caught your eye? Hit me up, tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your techno lust.